Hi, I'm Trev Hutchings, and this is how to set up your audio interface in Cakewalk Next. Click on the Cakewalk Next app icon. Then click on Cakewalk Next. And click on Preferences. Next, click on Audio. Then click on the Audio Driver drop list. Now click on the correct driver for your audio interface or sound card. Here on Mac, I'm using Mac's core audio driver. But on a Windows computer, you want to use the ASIO driver for your audio interface. Next, click on the audio output device drop list. This is the bit that tells Cakewalk Next where to send the sound from your project. So click on your audio interface if you have your speakers or headphones connected to your audio interface. Here I can send the sound to my screen's speakers or the Mac Studio speakers. But here I will click on my audio interface instead. Next, click on the audio input device drop list. This is the bit that tells Cakewalk Next where you want to record audio from. And here I will click on my audio interface. Next, click on the sample rate drop list. This sets the quality of the audio recordings in your projects. If you are recording for a CD, then click on 44,100 Hz. Otherwise, click on 48,000 Hz, which is a better quality. Next, click on the audio buffer size. This affects the latency of audio playback. The bigger the buffer size, the more audio playback latency you will have, which will make monitoring sound like an echo. But if the buffer size is too small, your computer will not load the samples quick enough, and you will get clicks, crackles, and missing audio. So if you are monitoring while you record audio, set the buffer size small so probably around 256 samples. And when you are mixing your song, set the buffer higher, probably around 1024 samples. Here, I will click on 256. Next, click on the file format drop list. and click on WAVE. WAVE is the file format you should be saving your audio as, because it is the best quality file format. Finally, click on the File Bit Depth drop list. This, like sample rate, also sets the quality of your audio recordings. If you are recording for CD, click on 16. Otherwise, click on 24, which is a better quality. Now click on the red dot icon to close the preferences window. These settings will now be saved and used with every new project. If you enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. Cheers!